All right, it is double crochet time. We have already learned how to chain and single crochet, and um, we also learned other things, but now we're gonna learn how to double crochet. Now I want 10 stitches, 10 double crochets, and so I made 13 chains. So we are going to use those extra three are kind of gonna be like, um, you can either count it as a stitch, but I usually don't because it's thinner and I like it a little bulkier. But um, so you can do either two or three extras. Today we are doing three. So that means we are going to crochet into the fourth the fourth chain from the hook. So let's count this out. Let me get my little needle. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is our extra. That is how about how long our stitch is gonna be when we're done, okay? That's gonna be the height of the stitch. So the difference between this and a single crochet, with a single crochet, we just go right to it. We're gonna in insert our hook but for a double crochet, we are going to yarn over first. So we're gonna yarn over before we've inserted our hook anywhere. And this is a good time to use this finger to kind of hold that loop down. And remember, we found our fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four. So now we have the loop and then our yarn over loop and we are going to maneuver and insert our hook right here, all right? Now it looks like we have three loops, but keep in mind this is two loops and plus we're inside the chain. So what we need to do is we need to draw up a loop from the chain, okay? Now we have three real loops, okay? This was just the chain, remember? So now we have three loops and what we're gonna do is we are gonna yarn over and go through two, and that will leave us another two, and then we'll go, yarn over and go through two more. So we're gonna yarn over, and we are only gonna go through two of those those loops, and now we have two left, and we're gonna yarn over and go through two again. I know that's that looks confusing, and I'm giving you a tough one right now, but um, it's gonna be good. All right, so before we go to the next chain, we are gonna yarn over. I'm gonna kinda hold this with my pointer finger and I'm gonna insert my hook into that next chain. All right, it looks like three loops, but this is not three loops. This is two loops plus we're in the chain. We're not gonna count this thing as a loop. We need to yarn over and pull up a loop through that chain. Now we have three, okay? We're gonna yarn over and we're only gonna go through two. And we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go through the final two. Again, we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. As you can start to see, these kind of look a little bit more like columns and they're quite fun. There's a lot of traditional, like granny stitches are um, made from double crochets. Uh, so this is a fun stitch once you get the hang of it. So remember, we're gonna yarn over, hold on to that loop, we're gonna insert our hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Okay, yarn over at the beginning, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. All right, we're gonna yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Yarn over, this is the last one, it's looking a little, you know, make sure that you 
see that it's the last one. Some people might skip it. So we're gonna yarn over, insert the hook. We're gonna pull up a loop, pull through two, and pull through two. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to turn on this one. So on the single crochet, we chained one and turned, um, but because we started with three extra chains on this, we're gonna do three chains on this side. So one, two, three, and now we flip it over, okay? And again, it might seem a little bit more difficult of where do we put our next stitch. So take a second and figure that out. So we're gonna do that in this, sorry, this one right here, but I want you to see what it kind of looks like. So there's three chains, one, two, three, and then our first stitch is here. So we are going to crochet into that first stitch. Remember, in this space where we're underneath both the front and the back loop. So we're gonna yarn over, insert the hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. All right, I hope that is helpful and I can't wait to see you guys' projects.